I've been using the Apple Watch Ultra 2 for 200 days. And here's the thing. I have a love and hate relationship with it. And here's why. If you know me, you know that I love the Apple Watch. In fact, it's my favorite Apple device of all time because it helps me be healthier, more active, and have a healthier relationship with my iPhone. I've been using the Apple Watch since its launch, and I feel like we've always wanted a larger, more durable Apple Watch. But now since we finally have that second generation, is this what we've always wanted? I'll tell you what I hate about it at the end of the video. But before, we gotta talk about all those new features on the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Are the new nits, the new sips, the new double taps. Make this new Apple Watch Ultra 2 worth it? Let's, let's talk. So the main protagonist of the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is Double Tap, which you can basically double tap your Apple Watch to answer a phone call, reply to a text message, and so on. Now, after using Double Tap for 200 days, is Double Tap worth the hype? Honestly, I'd say it's a feature that you don't use every single day. I'd say it's useful for those moments when your hands are busy, right? When you've got a coffee in your hand and someone calls you, you can double tap to answer. You can also double tap to view your smart stack. You can also double tap to, to cancel an alarm. Now, here's the thing, as I told you, like once your hands are busy, it is useful because you can double tap. I'd say there's a lot of use cases for it, but the real useful use cases as far as I know, I've used it for replying to messages or answering a quick phone call. You don't use it every single day, but it is pretty good to have. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 has 3000 nits of brightness. Now here's the thing. I think having 3000 nits of brightness on an Apple Watch is absolutely nuts. It's the brightest display ever on an Apple product. And once sun hits on the Apple Watch Ultra 2, you can feel it. It is extremely bright. The colors of watchOS are vibrant and you can pretty much read your screen in any single condition. Could you read your screen on every single situation on the previous Apple Watch? Yes. What if I preferred a longer battery life on the Apple Watch Ultra 2 rather than having more nits on an Apple Watch? Also, yes, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I wish Apple would have been like, okay, do we want more battery life or do we want more brightness? For me, I would have preferred more battery life, but it is what it is. The Ultra 2 also brought the S9 SIP, which is a faster processor, which brings a couple new features. For example, on device Siri, so you can ask your Apple Watch, set a timer, and it will do it instantly. It doesn't have to go to the iPhone and then the information going back to your watch and then activating. It just does it on device, so you can ask for a timer and it does it automatically. That's pretty good and I've been using it quite a lot. Another feature that I love that is new on the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is the precision finding on the iPhone. So if you lose your iPhone, you know, on previous Apple Watch, you could do like this. But now on the Apple Watch Ultra 2, it will actually guide you exactly to where the phone is, which is, once again, very useful. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is also the first ever carbon neutral product from Apple next to the Apple Watch Series 9, which is great for the environment, obviously. It's, it's crazy how Apple has actually made an entire carbon neutral product, which is just mind blowing. So those are the features that came with the Apple Watch Ultra 2, obviously not worth the upgrade from an Apple Watch Ultra 1, but if you do want to upgrade, I think all the features that came with it you're gonna like them. Right? From double tap to precision, find my iPhone to on device Siri, they're features that are great, but obviously not worth the upgrade. But let me tell you why I have this love and hate relationship with my Apple Watch Ultra 2. Here's the thing. If you watch my videos, you've probably seen that I usually wear an Apple Watch Series 9, and then some days I wear an Apple Watch Ultra 2, and then sometimes I wear a normal Apple Watch, and that's because of this love and hate relationship with it. I love that Apple Watch Ultra is big, bulky, massive, massive battery life. I love all of that. But I also hate that the Apple Watch Ultra is big, bulky. Having a big display on a watch is great for a lot of things. From using a keyboard that's actually really usable and makes you want to reply to more messages, having a large display just makes you want to use your Apple Watch a lot more. I feel like whenever I wear an Apple Watch Ultra instead of a Series 9, I end up using my Apple Watch so much more than my iPhone. And that definitely doesn't happen with a standard Apple Watch Series 9. The speakers are also so much louder that I end up, once again, using my Apple Watch to reply to phone calls since the speakers are so loud. I just feel like I use my Apple Watch so much more when I'm wearing the Ultra. Now on the other side, once again, as I said, is also uncomfortable. Having a large display is also not useful for sleep tracking. I mean, I don't wear my Apple Watch for sleep tracking because of how big and bulky 
and uncomfortable, at least for me, for sleep tracking, it is. Because yes, it is bulky. Yes, it is extremely resistant. That's what I'm saying. I love the colors and I love this band right here, but I hate the way that standard Apple Watch bands look. I don't like the way that a sport band looks on my Apple Watch Ultra because it just feels weird, at least to me. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the way that standard Apple Watch bands look on the Ultra. For me, I just don't like them at all, which makes the Apple Watch Ultra not as customizable as a standard Apple Watch. So yeah, and one of the reasons that I just love the Apple Watch as a whole is how customizable it is. And I feel like when I'm wearing the Ultra, I can't customize it. Sure, I can customize the Apple Watch faces and the complications, but I feel like I can't customize my bands because the band selection for the Apple Watch Ultra is so much more limited. I feel like the standard Apple Watch Series 9 size is just more comfortable for everything, including sleep tracking. But yet again, I feel like I don't reply as many messages from my watch. I end up using my iPhone with my other watch. So that's my love and hate relationship with both. I don't think the Apple Watch Ultra 2 should be smaller. I like it the way it is, but it's just not meant for everyone. It is for me. I use it almost every single day, but that's my love and hate relationship because I love the design and the minimalist look of the standard Apple Watch. I think it's so beautiful, so customizable but it doesn't have a large display. Love and hate relationship. Apple Watch Ultra 2, thank you for listening. I had to get this out of, of my chest. Subscribe if you're new. Okay, bye-bye.